Now moving on, the Commerce Ministry released the annual trade data for the financial year 2010. And India's exports haven't reco recovered quite as well as expected. On a monthly basis, though, figures do show a jump because of a low base effect. Devdatta Das has the details on what Commerce Minister Anand Sharma is doing to support exporters through this uncertainty. The annual trade figures for the financial year 2009-10 are out and it's clear that there is a shortfall in the overall performance, with several sectors still far from recovery. A fact that has ensured that the Commerce Ministry order its second sectoral review much ahead of its scheduled time with the intention of further incentivizing the sectors that are still hurting to the tune of almost 300 crore rupees. You see that, that view will be taken a considered view only after the review has been completed by DGFT and his team. Uh, we will be tweaking the policy or some of the incentives where required, giving more support to sectors which are still hurting and in deep red. Exports for the financial year 2009-10 stood at $176.5 billion, down by 4.7%, with sectors like engineering and electronic goods, textiles, leather and handicrafts still not recovering. With a decline in these sectors ranging between 10 to 40%, these sectors accounting for over 40% of the overall exports. While the huge fiscal deficit has ensured that there will be no further help from the finance ministry, Europe, India's largest traditional export market, slipping into a bigger economic turmoil and the increasingly volatile rupee is something that will make the ministry's task tougher to chalk out yet another rescue package. That said, the good news is that imports have come down substantially. With imports standing at $278.7 billion for 2009-10, down by 8.2% as compared to the previous year, primarily because of a large drop in oil imports. The major task cut out for the Commerce Ministry now is to see how to benefit and incentivize the sectors that are still in the red. The modus operandi being reshuffling of incentives from the ones that are doing well to the ones that are still hurting. Also taking into consideration the fact that the next full foreign trade policy will only come in in the next year in 2011. In New Delhi, Devdatta Das, NDTV Profit. Chuba.com